sweetie. Alright, we got my boy Parker's cow. She's been working at calving for long enough. I'd say it's been uh, two and a half hours and I haven't seen much more than that little water bag at the back, so. We haven't had a breached calf this year. Head back. Well, I guess we kind of did with that C-section, but uh, <clears throat> I'm a little concerned. We'll just put it that way. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna put her in here. I'm gonna check her and worst case scenario is I let her back at it and I leave her in the maternity pen and if everything is fine and I'll let her keep going. It's looking like she wants my help. Oh, maybe not. Come on. No, 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 that's not the one I want in there. All right, this could be fun. It's okay, relax. There. Now I'll move the black semicolon into place and see what things look like. <clears throat> if everything is lined up and everything uh, feels fine, I'm just gonna, the fluid looks fine, I'm just gonna leave her in this pen and let her work on it. Very loose. I'm gonna give her a little bit more time. Everything seems fine. I'm gonna leave her in this pen and I hope that uh, that's the right decision. Okay, I was waiting for my boys to calve. In the meantime, I've got another one that's calving in the middle and I can't see the head. It's in full bag. I better grab this one. Oh dear. There we go. No, you're not done yet, sweetie. That one was in full bag. I couldn't see it from where I was sitting. I was a little worried. There you are. Good job. Well, that didn't take very long. Good job. Now it's your turn. Nice bull calf. She's doing great. And I'm gonna let her <laughs> settle back down and uh, hopefully she can go soon. Typically when you check, after you uh, check a cow like that, uh, typically it takes about half an hour for them to settle back down to start pushing. And we're, now this disrupted her a little bit more, so I'm gonna give her a little bit more time and then I'm gonna, we'll see. Maybe I'll have to go in there and help get it out. Life calf is better than a dead one, so. Okay, I've given her lots of time. She is not doing much at all. 
and I'm <clears throat> I'm just worried because she's been working at this for she's been in the calving process for many hours now so um, it's in the middle of the night and I'm just to the point where the calf that was born in the meantime is standing and already trying to eat so it's time to get this calf out um, I'm gonna see what I can do here is still very much alive. She's dilated. It's just, I mean, again, not... That's not supposed to happen. I don't think that... <clears throat> that never got changed from when we put the bulls. That sucks. Let's try this again. Well, let's hope this turns out good. The longer it takes, the less optimistic I, I feel about it. There we go. All right, well, the head's out. Okay, we got ourselves a heifer calf. It's breathing. Get some hair. Okay, I'll prop it up. Mom is still laying down. She's tired. I'll let her take a quick break. Her head's around. She just doesn't have a whole lot of room here to get up. That's when uh, when they go down and they squeeze here, that's when it, it sucks because uh, 
They don't, uh, you want the cow to get up. I know it seems cruel, but you give them a little bit of a break because they've gone through a lot, but I've been told that you want them to get up uh, just to get moving again. Um, again, I've given it, given this cow a little bit of time and sometimes you just gotta, come on sweetie, there you go. You just, you, want, you don't want them to get too comfortable with being down. Okay, you can get up. And then she locks herself in, which is not what I wanted. But at least she's standing up now. There. Now I open the gate up. There, now she's on all fours. There we go. Okay, back up, sweetie. Back up. And hopefully she... licks her calf and starts to take care of it. So my boy's got himself a heifer calf. This cow here is a bit older. She's got a kind of an ugly udder. Uh, I'm guessing we're gonna have to help this calf get on. But we're gonna move this pair into there. Follow mom, follow mom into there. Yep, there you go. There. You give me the nod up and down. Okay. There and there. This calf is moving around a bit. I'm gonna prop it up a little bit better. And then hopefully mom, this mama starts to take care of it. But you know what, it's, this calf is moving. So that's a good thing. And thankfully it's not cold outside, so if that mom takes a bit to lick it off, it should be fine. Calf isn't gonna freeze. Just, uh, that might take the mama a bit to... Start to love that calf a little bit, but I get it. Anyway, it's a good way to start, uh, start the day off. And we are now down to... We're now down to six cows left to calf, so we are nearing the end. I think we'll try to kick these other ones out right away too, Ken. Oh, yeah, she's just pooping. If you open that door. Okay, my dears, out you go. Out you go, let's go. Okay, we had a couple more calves overnight. Big old 1D cow. Uh, bull calf, I believe. We're gonna see if she goes out. Come on, mom, out you go. You can go. See if we can get this. Yeah, well, everything is, what we can tell then too, I'm not sure where the calves have been on. If, uh, like they've been tucked on. These yeah. ones do. Yeah. She looks like it's been on with the calf. Yeah, it's just calf looking. Looks good. So. so the uh two cows that calved last night. I managed to sleep right through till five, so woke up and realized, oh boy, I missed some action here. So uh anyway, Kendall had to looks like he had to pull the one and uh the other one it's just an old cow and by the look of it that one came out on its own which is good the the red cow is the old one she's probably one of our biggest ones she is a 2000 roughly a 2000 pound short horn cow and uh changed up the bowl a little bit we put google on that cow because uh Having a bit of trouble with her last couple of years, just being big cow, but not necessarily giving us the big payday at the uh, 
come fall. So try a different bowl on her and hopefully we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna do weighing and stuff, you know, it'll give us an idea where we're at. Okay, so like I said, this is the one that comes out of our big red cow. She's probably in that 1,900, 2,000 pounds. And we bred her to our big Google bull, Semitol. And uh, that calf's weight this morning is 112 pounds. It's a bull calf, so we gotta, got to uh, castrate him yet. But uh, very happy with that. And the fact that she had it on, on her own, that's a bonus. Okay. I know you think this is gonna hurt as much as the kick. It's just like getting your ears pierced, that's all. Well, I've been doing this this morning. Just not sure whether we've actually gone through uh, the rationale as to why each calf is getting one of these and one of these. Um, very simple this is what we call a farm tag the way we do our numbers everybody every farm has their own numbering but the way we do it is uh anything under 100 so we start with number one the l is the year that it was born and um so one and up is heifers so this is heifer number 65 that's born on the farm and the bottom number here this is the cow that that calf belongs to so this is mama so the black uh cow that had this calf her number her number here is 82h and that's important so that when we're sorting cows later on we always know that everybody's together obviously so it just helps us sort later on now this button over here this is a government uh regulated button this is we buy when we buy these from the clinic or wherever we buy these our farm gets attached to all of these numbers so that when these animals get shipped if there was ever a problem with this with the animal it can be traced back to our farm as to um, what went wrong or I guess in theory if something were to happen that the cow gets out even from pasture or whatever they don't know for sure if they can read the tags and it can be traced back as to where it's done so this here is this is farm traceability this is government traceability. So those are, that is the purpose for the two, the two tags. Uh, a lot of guys wait to actually give these tags until they're actually shipping them in case a calf dies or in, in pasture, that kind of thing, or uh, this or for that. In theory, you're supposed to have these on every time you move it, whether you're moving it 10 miles down the road or whatever, you're supposed to have them in. But I know there is a lot of guys that actually wait till fall when they're weaning to put these in just because they are you know three i think they're three dollars each or something like that and um whatever it's a cost that if you don't need to do why why waste them so you've probably seen us here's another interesting thing you've probably seen us handle two little bottles and this is the one this is n force this is the one that goes you can't see it but inside this one there's actually a solid um pill in here if you will and in here there's a liquid and separate they are um i guess you can see them separate they are fine on their own they can last a long time but as soon as you put the two of them together you have 24 hours to um uh, they're good i guess their expiry date becomes very very quick you've got about 24 hours or so to use them otherwise they are no good anymore so that's why we always buy the single dose method and we just mix them kind of as we go. So, put the liquid into the, where the pill is. Now, I'll shake it around just so that it absorbs it all. And now we're good. So, this is the this is the nasal spray. That way over there. And up. Okay, you are 
92, 92 pounds. Okay, Daryl, <clears throat> Daryl separated these calves from their mother. We hadn't seen them on, and I'm pretty sure that calf is not, I'm pretty sure both calves have not, have not been on. And in fact, uh, the black one actually hated her calf. She was beaten on it and just did not like it. She hasn't licked it, nothing. So, and now she's coming to the barn. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get them on. So they need to eat. So we're gonna see what we can do here. That's a good sign. Now she's starting to lick it. So that separation, anybody who thinks that <laughs> we're separating and we're cruel for doing it, there is a reason and that cow literally hated her calf before. So it, uh, it does help. So. But this calf, I think the cow's udder is just ugly, so we gotta get that calf on, so, yeah. If the cow would, <clears throat> if the cow would stand still, I could help the calf get on. But I'm gonna have to, I'm, I'm gonna try putting her in the maternity pen and uh, work with them there. This is our biggest cow, I think, on the farm. She's, she's huge. She's pushing 2,000 pounds. Okay, we got this cow turned around. And the calf is definitely wanting it and does not know how to, needs some help. How big is that calf gun though? I think Daryl weighed it. I think it's 114. Not small, but she's a big cow. Yeah, I know. Your calf is finally on. There we go. That calf is gonna be monstrous. Well, we'll see. I hope so. Who she bred to this one day? This is Google. No, no but like, what, what's uh? Oh, we bought it. Is that what you mean? Yeah, is it just a short one? Yep. Lots of milk, but doesn't mean that it's good milk. You can have big udders and... It's all for show sometimes, eh? Well, it can be, and you can have a small udder that produces lots of good milk. It can just be richer. Right? Yeah. There, okay. Okay, we've seen this calf. Tummy's full. Still wanting it. But uh, he's gonna have to figure this out on his own somewhere online. So we're gonna... Come on, buddy. He sucks for a little bit, then he quits. So I think we're let's move him into a pen. And we'll bring that other pair in. Okay, calf obviously knows what to do. There you go. That one looks empty in the front, Louis. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Now if your mom would lick you dry, that would be nice. Let it go to town. Let's see if this guy can get on his own.
Come on. I think he's on. Okay, this calf is doing great. It's on. It won't take much and we'll boot them out. And that calf, we actually saw it get on on its own, so... Well, I had to help this calf get on. It filled its tummy right up. So, uh, it's disappointing. Uh, like I said, those teats are not easy for a calf to get on at this point. So, this calf should be fine. And we have the remaining six cows in the barn that are left to calve. So yeah, we are down to these six cows and then calving season is over. And they are calling for a Colorado low to come in. And we're not sure whether we're gonna get hit with it or not. Uh, we fed kind of time and a half today. So in case we can't feed first thing in the morning, the cows should be good. They actually should be good till uh, Thursday morning. Uh, we give them time and a half of silage and everything. Then we give them some grass and some other stuff to uh, help them get them through just in case weather has it that we can't get out to them so hopefully we don't get any snow but it is what it is so that's why we're putting all six in the barn that have to calve they're in the barn we don't have to worry about them and the two freshest ones they're staying in there just well just because so they still need a little bit of help so yeah Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for taking the time to watch and have yourself a good one.